We've gotten yet another indication from CIG that we are going to see Star Citizen Alpha 4.0 very soon. Also, a new 3.24.2 patch just dropped. Let's look into it. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI Argo Atlas. In order to support this video, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. All right, guys, Um, before we get into the patch notes pertaining to Star Citizen Alpha 4.0, uh, we've just gotten a this week's in Star Citizen. CIG normally does this on, on the Mondays. And CIG mentioned this really interesting um, note. Um, in addition to what they posted, the, what they tweeted earlier on uh, today. So it says here, on the Alpha 4.0 front, the team is making solid progress and is looking forward to releasing to Uivo Cardi. More news on that later. New Frontier awaits in Pyro. We can't wait to take the jump with you. So yet another. So earlier today, we did get a tweet from CIG regarding a um, new frontiers. Okay. Um, if you haven't seen it, it's my one of my latest videos. And now we're getting this um, on the same day pertaining to Star Citizen Alpha 4.0. Nobody asked them. They just came out and said it. So um gives me confidence that we may see um starts with alpha 4.0 in evil very very soon i think it's going to be around citizen con times it's possible based on what they're saying we may even see it before that but um uh really exciting stuff all right so um also regarding 3.24.2 now the new patches came it seems like uh further down the line we may see the zeus come out and being available to the um evil Cardi, i believe to test um but um they may not, but it seems like that's uh, what I'm getting from from this. Uh, so with this patch, let's just quickly go into the patch notes. All right. So this one here says a um, they have a known issue that they wanted to let you know. Um, it says QT workaround. Right now it says that you cannot initiate quantum jump low chance. All right. So if you run into this issue, it says deallocate all power from systems in power management reallocate power to quantum drive and other systems okay so keep that in mind so now they made a few updates uh ships and vehicles it says the misc starfarer added a new annunciator to the pilot dashboard and also um weapons and items says they added the baron rifle mag to the shop so now this is going to be the p8 arc um because before we didn't there was no mags in there so and it also says here they've temporarily removed the multi-tool reload screen until battery drain requirement reload to function interesting so next um there's a few bug fixes uh for this as well so they fixed an issue where some elevators have grayed out panels and do not respond when called they fixed an issue where ship fall through hangar elevators uh, platform on retrieval are resulting in being stuck under the hangar they fixed an issue where a sub terminal screen will be stuck on getting the vehicle list screen until terminal times out they fix an issue where aerial is missing surface um they fix an issue where if a player moves their mouse pointer off screen while they have the game open the game's performance will start to degrade until the mouse pointer has returned back to the game they fix an issue where the elevator panel buttons disappear on upper floors they fixed an issue where the argo atlas has a placeholder text they fixed an issue where the msr now has size 3 shield but uh quadrant not adjustable they fixed an issue where scan operator mode ui is missing ping signature for return ping they fixed an issue where the mfds will disappear once the player enters the missing turret seat they fixed an issue where asap spawn uh, vehicle headlights are enabled and need to be toggled twice uh, to turn off. They fix an issue where you're unable to influence the Drake Cutter's internal lights. They fix an issue where the Miss Starfarer is not refueling other ships. They fix an issue where the price of freedom mission giver uh, says price of freedom cryopods on the Caterpillar do not show prisoner numbers or release. They fix an issue where the components are overheating even when providing sufficient coolants. They fix an issue where prospect the radar uh, projects over and above the ship panel. They fix an issue where the carrier command station MFD UI 
are displaying incorrectly. Uh, clicked at the bottom, it says here the fixing issue where the hanger anims are noticeably loud in AC front end, which is Arena Commander, and they fixed an issue where rentals are not functioning in Arena Commander. Along with this, is four client crash fixes and five server crash fixes. You guys, let me know. You guys excited for starting off with 4.0? Let me know in the comments down below. Before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase 1 Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. Catch you guys on the next one.